Okay, so now we're going to do the final assembly. Just putting the cassette body on the axle and adjusting the hub properly. So we've got the shell here. First thing you need to notice is that on top of the driver gear there is a thin spacer there, a thin silver spacer. You need to make sure that that's in place so that you didn't don't if that came out any time during the cleaning process, make sure that you put it back in place so it's there. All right. <clears throat> Now we're going to put some grease on the driver gear itself. I like to use a uh, Red Devil grease. It's a high quality waterproof grease, but really any grease is fine here. Not something super thick, because um, that'll just make everything sluggish. But I just draw a nice little bead around there so that there's some grease on the driver gear. And then I'll take a small screwdriver like this, and I'll just sort of paint the grease around so that it's evenly covering all the paws there like that. <clears throat> and the next thing we do is we're going to take the cassette body and we're going to just set it in place. Now if you just hold it at an angle like that, push one paw in place, rotate it, and the third and the second paw will go in place and then there'll be one paw sticking out there and you can just take that small screwdriver and just press on that paw and the whole thing will drop in place like that. All right. And the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to install the main cassette body bearing. That's this bearing right here, 6707. You can just literally drop that over the, uh, the cassette body like that. And I like to put a little bit of this grease. This is the Triflos Clear Synthetic Grease on the bearing itself. It's a uh, it's a very thick waterproof grease and it just helps to make sure that that stays in there nicely. We've got that like that. Again we'll take our press handle here. Now we're going to want to put our 6903 drift over there and if you grab the entire hub shell assembly like this, use two fingers to hold the hub shell and two other fingers to support the cassette body you can just slide the whole thing over like that without any danger of pushing the cassette body off. And then you take this piece here. This is the bearing cup. It will press that bearing into place. Put the handle on here and just tighten it down. And tighten it down until it stops. And again, snug it up nice and tight. You cannot damage the bearing through this process because you're not loading one race relative to the other.